50 year old Mike Brinkman gunned down by would be robbers in his own home. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Griswold and I'm Craig DeGrelli. Today, prosecutors revealed the food that accused killer Leandre Jennings was chomping on likely gave him away. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski picks up the story. Investigators followed some unusual evidence. Prosecutors believe the suspect in the murder, Leandre Jennings, may have literally left his lunch at the crime scene. Leandre Jennings enters a Douglas County courtroom accused of murdering 50 year old Michael Brinkman on December 23rd at his home near 180th and Q. Detective Larry Cahill testifies that two men broke into the Brinkman home early that evening with guns wearing clown masks. At some point in time, uh, as the suspect is entering into the residence, he says in a deep voice, money. Money? Money. A struggle ensues and Brinkman is shot in the chest once. He later dies at the hospital. When investigators arrive, they discover fries and half-eaten Texas toast from raising canes inside the home. A DNA profile done on the food matches Jennings. I don't know exactly where he had it. Um, I just know that he left it behind and that's what matters. Video surveillance shows a white Dodge Durango fleeing the scene allegedly rented by Jennings' girlfriend. The same Durango is on camera in a drive through hours earlier. Investigators are still working on a motive and identifying the second suspect. They said Jennings had no ties to the house or the people living there. But Brinkman's girlfriend, a witness at the time, remembers an exchange before the suspects left. I believe that she remembers him saying, let's go, I got it, they, and then they leave. Let's go, I got it? Yes. They yeah. left in a very hurried fashion. Um, I think at trial we'll hear um, of some evidence that we believe at least um, one of the victims, or one of the witnesses phones was taken and it didn't come out here, but it, that's one of the items that will come out. The victim's family didn't want to speak on camera today, but they did say they hope the second suspect is caught soon. Jennings will now move toward district court for trial. He hasn't been assigned a judge yet. Jake Wasikowski, 3 News Now.